Thank you for watching this video. Uh, this tutorial video is brought to you by NewQBO.com. NewQBO.com, your one-stop QuickBooks online learn and share blog. Uh, our blog is uh, rated among the uh, you know top ten sites for QBO resources by actual users. Our contents are up to date. Uh, that's not easy since QBO is coming out with uh, improvements all the time. So from our website. If you need to sign up, QuickBooks, for a free trial, you know, we have external links here. All you have to do is click here, and it will take you to uh, uh, external links right here. You can just click, you know, from U U QuickBooks USA, QuickBooks Canada, QuickBooks UK, QuickBooks Australia. Uh, you know, all four uh, major QuickBooks uh, accounts. Uh, so today... This, this video, uh, I'm going to focus on how to create a customer invoice for time, materials, and fixed price. So time is for labor, labor hours, and materials is you buy and uh, uh, use it for a job. So materials could be uh, your inventory or non-inventory, and fixed fee is your allocated uh, uh, income uh, from your customer. Okay, let's get started. So I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online. I'm all logged in. I'm just going to show you uh, uh, quickly how to create uh, customer invoice for those uh, uh, time, materials, and fixed fee. Let's start with uh, uh, time. So when you time, uh, you know, you, 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 you track hours. You, could, you can use it here from here. Single time activity. Uh, if you just like a uh, you know a uh, couple of hours or you can just fill out the weekly time sheet and this one could be uh, for employee or our independent contract as vendor doesn't matter so I'm just, just gonna fill out this single time and let's say Tom case is uh, is your vendor outside 1099 type and let's just say select your customer let's say average construction and so this is for uh, labor billing. I'm just going to select this in hours. This comes from your product and services list, and then uh, you're going to build it for let's say for hundred hundred dollars per hour. And you know if you want enter time, you can enter time. You know in and out type. Let's say start uh, start at 8 a.m. and work till uh, 12. So that's for four hours like this and just save it let's just say save and close or save and new but this is for a uh, vendor let's say uh, some employee also work on this let's say Chris need the employee or yourself if it's a sole proprietor type and the customer is the same let's say and let's say in your case you're gonna build for 150 you can change it you know uh, and enter time let's say you start at 8 a.m. And let's say you work till five. So it's about you know uh, nine hours. Uh, and uh, let's just save this. So so you have uh, uh, fill out your time sheet basically. So this is just for billing. This is just for billing. It won't show up in your QuickBooks at your expense yet. This is just to uh, track uh, your time uh, so that you can bill to your uh, your client or customers. So I'm going to close this. So now we're going to buy some materials. Let's say expense. All right. So you just say you use uh, your debit card, and let's say the uh, the vendor is San Diego materials. And in this case, I'm going to use item type, uh, product and service, let's say materials, and let's say 10. And I'm going to bill it uh, $30. And your customer is Everest Construction. Okay, uh, so I'm just going to save it. There's no uh, markup in this thing. Just basically, uh, just you bought it for this, and you're billing for the same amount. And if there is a markup involved, then you have to change the setup. I'll show you in a minute. 
all right if there's markup involved then you have to go back and you know settings you have to change it see there's markup in here so if there's a markup then you'll select this and then when next time you uh, enter your uh, expenses then you will have a, a separate uh, markup column there as you can see it's markup here I'm going to turn this off uh, so this one involves no markup just pass it on expenses because they're going to pay you a fixed income fixed fee okay so now we are ready to uh, invoice your customer the customer is ever construction as you can see here you will see all the items need to be added to this one all these so they're going to add all these so you got all that material and we're going to add one line and let's say this is for uh, your fixed fee let's say the, the fixed fee is uh, every time you bill it's thousand dollars it's known uh, fee uh, that you build your customer and that's your income so I'm going to save this so if you uh, want to look at the preview is your uh, invoice so it will look like look like this right here so fee is fixed and then you have billable hours time for two people and if you don't want to see rate or anything you have to change your settings as well and build right here uh, so let's say you don't want to show the rate or anything or hours then you have to go to uh, I'm just gonna save this and close then you have to change your custom your form style custom form styles I only have one uh, style in here and edit and activity detail so this is where you change it you know so billable time so this is where you have to make some changes and if you want to so subtotal it's right here selected and this is by type so if you want by day week month then you have to select those the type the type you want is uh, uh, time material and uh, uh, fixed fee that's why I selected this type one uh, so it's it's custom form style and in here so and then you can select you know uh, you can make changes if you need it but basically everything comes from here more activity more so that looks pretty easy but you're wondering uh, how I got those uh, uh, product type okay let's go to the chart of accounts and I'll show you how it's set up. So I've set up three income type. As you can see here, the title on this one, this is the chart of accounts, by the way. So chart of accounts, you can go from here or from here. Uh, and the chart of accounts is set up this way. So labor, materials, fees, and income, that's your heading. So that's the that's the one you don't want to use it so here's here we go the income type category is income type and detail type since the heading doesn't matter you can select this or uh, uh, this it doesn't matter uh, the title is labor materials fees and income okay and uh, uh, the fees you know uh, it's just one income type so the service fee is right here, fees, fees, and sub account is uh, this one. That's how selected. And same thing with the uh, materials and labor. So labor is right here. Labor income is part of service. Labor income, and it's. So it's sub account in here is the labor materials and fee. Save and close. 
and same thing with uh, materials type it works the same way service product income material and it is sub account it's a sub account and the parent accounts of this okay so I have uh, those three accounts for income and then I have a, a cost of sales account for labor so when you receive uh, uh, invoice from your uh, vendor for 1099 so this is where you uh, enter so when you fill out your time it's basically filling out your time for billing only so it won't it won't so as expense in your labor so for that you have to enter it again from here here or bill whatever uh, and then select your uh, uh, customer if you want to track it just like we did for materials uh, same thing with materials uh, so now let's go to your product and services list and see how it's set up okay so the fees it's basically it's uh, the map to fees it's the service type and then it's uh, it's mapped to your income account it's in here it's your fee income and there is no uh, purchasing site uh, because it's your fixed fee income no cost involved and then hours that's for the time sheet labor hours so they still start this type and hours but hours you know income type is mapped to this account labor income and then when you want to enter it, your time you can also use uh, this labor cost, cost cost of sales account right here cost of sales labor cost of goods sold and for materials so right here materials income is uh, right here material income Cost of goods sold for materials. So if you run your income statement for today, the, the one we, be, we just did, you will see it like this. As you can see here, you know, this is how you see it. This one has a few other income already. Uh, so that's why basically you will see breakdown like this fees income labor income materials income and then you will have a cost cost of goods sold for materials and when you fill out the time sheet and enter uh material uh, the labor cost then you will see it in here as well and then if you run your income by customer So right here so here's your income and then the expenses and then you will see your uh, profit margin uh, from that business well thank you for watching this video uh, subscribe to our YouTube channels we have two channels BP controller new QBO BP controller and new QBO like us on Facebook and uh, visit our website newqbo.com Thank you.